Eastern and Western Yiddish are most markedly distinguished by the extensive inclusion of words of Slavic origin in the Eastern dialects, while Western Yiddish has few remaining speakers. Eastern dialects remain in wide use. Yiddish is written and spoken in Orthodox Jewish communities around the world. It is a home language in most Hasidic communities where it is the first language learned in childhood, used in schools, and in many social settings. Yiddish is also used in the adjectival sense to designate attributes of Ashkenazic culture. For example, Yiddish cooking and Yiddish music. Modern Hebrew. Standard Hebrew as developed by Eliezer ben Yehuda was based on Mishnaic spelling and Sephardi Hebrew pronun pronunciation. Side note, whenever you hear that word Sephardi, that's all you that's how you know. It's already some some fake stuff going on. The Sephardic Jews are not a part of the and it's only two percent of them. How is it only two percent of Sephardic Jews but ninety eight percent of Ashkenazi? That should let you know right there it's a scam. So you just know I know you got two percent of these people. So go read Second Kings seventeen. And start somewhere. I think just you can read the whole thing, but you're gonna see a word in there, and it's gonna look like Sepharvim. You know, it's gonna have an M at the end, like a VM at the end of it. But when it's talking about the king had brought people into the land, because we was we was already out of the land when that happened in Second Kings 17. Okay, the Assyrian king brought in them. He brought them in. Okay, that happened like back in the 700s, you know, BC. So those people are not the real Jews either. They're fake. They're convert. They're bastards. Yes, I said it. Bastards. Because you came in. You stole our history. You stole our culture. So that's exactly what you are. Everybody else might want to be nice with y'all, but I'm not. I'm not. I don't respect these people. These people walk around, act like they are just innocent. Innocent. When you do the research, they put their own people in the Holocaust. Because they're related to those people. And I'm not saying that I'm not saying that the Holocaust, you know, didn't happen or anything like that. But what I am saying is that they they did that Holocaust so they can come and say, yes, we know how it feels to have atrocities because we've been through atrocities, too. No, you did that to yourself. And then also you had a hand in the transatlantic slave trade. So get all of that stuff out of here, man. The gig is up. It's up. You played a role in the transatlantic slave trade. You own boats. You own plantations. Black people, Negro people, the real Jews. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't play a role in the Holocaust. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't just no six million Jews, ish, that was uh, murdered. They they murdered gays in that six million. They murdered uh, black folk in that six million, the real Jews. So, yeah, we got burnt over there, too. They murdered uh, gypsies, people with deformities. So it wasn't just six million Jews. And then for the longest time, they couldn't even get their number together. They settled on six million. They couldn't even get their number together. First, it was um, six million people. You know, then it went to six million Jews and then it had other groups that was. No, like I said. And 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 let me be honest to you, anything that I'm saying, I don't give a damn if you take offense to it. I want you to know I'm telling you straight to your face. I'm 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 not sorry and I don't give a damn about you or how you feel because my people have been through it, too. 
at the hands of your people. So if you think that I care, I don't. I don't care. You can go to hell for all I care. Because that's exactly where you're going. A lot of you Jewish people. That's exactly where you're going. They'll be nice to you. I ain't going to be nice. They'll show respect. I ain't got no respect for you. Let me start that over. Minor in Hebrew, standard Hebrew as the bell. And you know what? And you know what's so? And you and and I'm just on the side note. People will sit up and talk about me. People will sit up like these super Hebrews. You you gonna hear them? You gonna hear them? But I guarantee you, they're not going to do what I do. I guarantee you, they're not going to put their life story up here. If some of them was on the deal, I guarantee you, you're not going to hear about it. Guarantee you, you're not. You're not going to hear about them talk about their life story. But now they show can sit on the sidelines and... Like females. Like a female. I'm ready for y'all too. I'm not going to take your disrespect either. And if you and and Lord knows I don't want no problems with nobody, but if it got to go there, it can go there. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this country. I'm tired of these weak people. I'm tired of my people acting like we so stupid. That we can't see the writings on the wall. I'm tired of you fake celebrities. I'm tired of you basketball players. You want to run your mouth. You uh, rappers and you mu musicians want to run your mouth. And then you want to come back crawling and apologize. Oh, we're sorry for our anti-Semitic comments. Shut the hell up if you ain't going to. If you, if you need to choose a side. Either shut the hell up or keep speaking. But ain't no coming back to saying you sorry. What you sorry for? Telling the truth? And it's a damn shame in the elemental P community. All y'all care about is purses. In the ballroom scene. That's all you care about. That's the main thing. The ballroom scene. The ballroom scene. The ballroom scene. The ballroom scene ain't gonna save you. The ballroom scene ain't gonna save you. And 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 it is good for some people, because some people have really gotten their life out of that scene. But baby. For the majority, you need to study your history, baby. And don't quit your day job. However, the earliest speakers of the modern Hebrew had Yiddish as their native tongue and often brought into Hebrew idioms and literal translations from Yiddish. The pronunciation of modern Israeli Hebrew is based mostly on Sephardic Hebrew pronunciation. However, the language has adapted to Ashkenazi Hebrew phonology. It should be saying phoniology because it's phony in some respects. Well, I don't know who respect it because I don't. These people are, are devils. Nothing but thieves. They got this one, they got this one, I don't know what is Ben Yehuda, whoever he is, a loser. You are a loser. If you ever come across my video, I want you to know I, I think of you as a loser. Oh, well, you know, it's not all Negroes that are in, you know, they still trying to keep that. And it's like, I don't respect none of these, you know, I don't respect none of what they got to say. None of them. You're a liar. You're a liar. Your fork tongue liar, just like your ancestors. You have no relation to the biblical Jews of the Bible. And you know this. You know who you know who Negroes are. And even still they're trying to come, well not all black people are. Negroes are. All Negroes. All of them are. If you can't, if they came over here from the transatlantic slave trade, baby, they are.
before I continue on, um, today I want to uh, read a few things here. And uh, these are factual. So um, this is coming from the Jewish people, own people, their encyclopedias, things of that nature. And so the first thing I'm going to read here, I am King Bulan, the king of Khazaria, a land locked between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, today occupied by Georgia, but also reaches into Russia, Poland, Lith Lithuania, Hungary, and Romania. In 740 AD, my Khazarian people felt vulnerable as we had Muslims on one side and Christians on the other side and thus constantly feared attack from either side. My people were pagan which made us ripe for invasion by those who wished to convert us. If we convert to Islam we will risk attack by the Christians and if we convert to Christianity we will risk attack by the Muslims. I came up with a genius idea. We all converted to Judaism because Jews had good relations with both Christians and Muslims, predominantly in matters of trade. Our race represents today 98% of all the Jews on the planet. We have no blood connection whatsoever to the Holy Land. Many of us speak the Khazarian language of Yiddish, totally different to the language of Hebrew. Oh, let me. And you can see this, this is on my page. This is on my page. You want to talk about that, Harvey? These people haven't found out. That was Esau, by the way. Red and hairy. Okay, here we go. Remember this? Y'all remember Han? He's applied to you. What do we have here? Are these things anti-Semitic? Come on, somebody tell me. Huh? Is that now? Let me let me read this, cause this comes from the Jewish Encyclopedia. So is the Jewish Encyclopedia anti-Semitic? Khazars or Khazars, a non-Semitic Asiatic Mongolian tribal nation who immigrated into Eastern Europe about the first century, who were converted as entire nation to Judaism in the seventh century by the expanding Russian nation, which absorbed the entire Khazar population and who account for the presence in Eastern Europe of the great numbers of Yiddish speaking Jews in Russia, Poland, Lithuania, Galatia, Bessarabia, and 
Romania, Romania, the Jewish Encyclopedia. Oh, another source in the Encyclopedia Judaica, 1972. Khazars, mm. a national group of general Turkic type, independent and sovereign in Eastern U Europe. And what? When I'm talking about sovereign, I'm not talking about the one in ATL. I'm talking about, you know, these fake people. <laughs> Khazars, a national group of general Turkic type, independent and sovereign. And, wh and why can't nobody pronounce that name right? It's not Southern. Okay? <laughs> sovereign. Say it. Sovereign, not Southern. Say that man's name establishment. Uh, say that man's establishment's name right. <laughs> Khazars, a national group of general Turkic type, independent and sovereign in Eastern Europe between the 7th and 10th century CE. During part of this time, the leading Khazars professed Judaism. In spite of the negligible information of an archaeological nature, the presence of Jewish groups and the impact of Jewish ideas in Eastern Europe are considerable during the Middle Ages. Groups have been mentioned as migrating to Central Europe from the East often have been referred to as Khazars or Khazars, thus making it impossible to overlook the possibility that they originated from within the former Khazar Empire. Hmm. Encyclopedia Americana Ashkenazim The Ashkenazim are the Jews hmm, ish whose ancestors lived in German land. It was among Ashkenazi Jews that the idea of political Zionism emerged, leading ultimately to the establishment of the State of Israel in the late 1960s. And that was under the Balfour de Declaration, which was a scam. The Balfour Declaration, you can look that up, that was like an agreement between Britain and Amesica um, that pretty much gave Israel that fake Israel over there uh, the right pretty much to be there so they were never in 1948 they were not that what happened that was a scam that was not ordained by the most high if it was then they would there will be no more war over there it said that when the true people come back into that land there shall be no more study of war and what's going on right now exactly that's how you know they're not the people In the late 1960s, Ashkenazi Jews numbered some 11 million, about 84% of the world Jewish population. Encyclopedia Americana, 1985. Khazar, an ancient Turkic speaking people who ruled a large and powerful state in the steppes north of the Caucasus Mountains, from the 7th century to their demise in the mid 11th century AD and the 8th century its political and religious head as well as the greater part of the Khazar no nobility abandoned paganism and converted to Judaism the Khazars are believed to be the ancestors of most Russian and Eastern European Jewish Encyclopedia Americana 1985 The Universal Jewish Encyclopedia The primary meaning of Ashkenaz and Ashkenazim in Hebrew is Germany and Germans This may be due to the fact that the home of the ancient ancestors of the Germans is Media which is the Biblical Ashkenaz. Um, side note. Uh, <laughs> that's a deity too. Media. 
That's the deity. Uh, but you probably know it better as Medea. But I ain't going to get too much into that. Right now I'm focusing on this. Which is the biblical Ashkenaz. Cross is the is of the opinion that in the early medieval ages the Khazars were sometimes referred to as Ashkenazim. About 92% of all J Jewish or approximately 14 and a half million are Ashkenazim, the universal Jewish encyclopedia. The 13th tribe, Arthur Kessler, Kostler. The large majority of surviving Jews in the world are of Eastern European descent and thus perhaps mainly of Khazar origin. If so, this would mean that their ancestors came not from the Jordan, but from the Volga, not from the Canaan, but from the Caucasus, once believed to be the cradle of the Aryan race, and that genetically they are more closely related to the Hun. You know the who the who, who the Hun was? You ever seen um, Mulan? I know it's a cartoon, but hey. I learn from everything and I know a thing or two about Disney yes uh, to my conspiracy theorists out there please don't think I don't I told you before I got into all this I was into conspiracies and stuff like that so I know all about Disney yes and, you know and I got a thing you know I, I still don't like how they took my last name you know savages savages you know you know the rest of the song they ain't have to do all of that but I still uh, before I knew all this information, I was a I was a Disney kid. I had all the movies and everything else. So um, Mulan was one of one of my favorites. And uh, in that movie, they battle the Huns. Yeah, that's where they come from. That's them. Closely related to the Hun. Is a Uyghur and the Magyar tribes than to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So that's what I'm saying, y'all. These people are not Semitic. They're not Semitic. So, NBA commissioner, whoever you is, when you feel like you want to find these dudes, you're not even Semitic, bro. You're not even Semitic. You don't come from you don't come from the real Jews. You know, into that Ben he think he Yehuda. Yehuda is that's Judah. You not from Judah, bro. You're not you're not Negro. You're not black. So you you know you need to change your name. I'm calling you no Judah boy. You look like a pack of baloney or a pack of chicken wings. Get the hell out of here. The serpent people. From the early centuries of the first millennia, the Khazars of Eastern Europe were known as the, diabol the diabolical serpent people. And now the nation of Israel has admitted that its people are indeed the Khazars. Should I read some of what these people believe? You know what? I'm going to go on here and just, we're we going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. Oh, no.